Hello, my brothers and my sisters. Welcome. Welcome to the first ever episode of Simplified. Thank you very much for tuning in. I greet you. I greet you in the most beautiful greeting befitting of pious people, befitting of the beloved. I greet you with the greeting of peace. May the peace and blessings of Almighty God be with you, guide you, protect you, and always show up for you. Simplified. Let me say this to you first. And I beg you in the name of God to help me make this easy for me. I'm scared. I'm scared to my soul. I'm scared to be doing this. I'm scared as to why Allah think I am the one to do this. But when Allah calls you, when Almighty God calls you, you can argue. You cannot be disobedient. Because when God calls you and you are disobedient, He will call somebody else next to you that is may possibly even be lower in rank. So, I chose to be obedient. And thank you very much for your loyalty. I'm grateful and I'll forever be grateful. And may God reward you in abundance. Thank you for tuning in. And I pray to God that this we commit, as I have committed to be obedient to his call, I pray that you are also obedient to his call and tune in to simplify the messages of hope every week. But before I proceed, let me carry you on a journey of how this starts, because this is a journey we're going to be walking together for 52 weeks in a year and every year until the end of time. May God make it easy for us. When God calls you, God does not yell. God is not intrusive. So when God is calling you, and I tell you this, my brothers and my sisters, God calls all of us. He's, he calls us in different ways and different levels. And when God calls you, He will not be a sound to your ears. It will be sound to your heart. And this is my way of being obedient to His call. By taking the leap of faith. And standing in front of you today. Purpose of simplified. There was one man, he's late now. He was one of my very good friends. His name is or was Sheikh Yaya Solati. This man passed, I think, two years ago. When he was alive, he was a passionate speaker of the words of God. Very passionate. When he's speaking, he'll be sweating, wiping tears, and speaking. He was a very good representative of God that I know. Allah judges everybody. Allah judges us by intention. But from so far what I know of him, he was a passionate preacher. And he died two years ago. And do you know that still every year, every, anytime, any day, we can still see his messages on the YouTube. This is, this is what really got me. Um, I was reading the Quran one day. 
and I saw something when judgment of God begins and people are dispersed to where they will go either to the left or to the right may Almighty God make you and I the dwellers of his paradise may you and I remove our name from the list of people that will be occupants of hellfire so let's look at some people that I'm going to use as an example for us let's look at Pastor Joel Austin he is the senior pastor of a mega church in Texas Pastor T.D. Jakes the senior pastor of the Potter House our beloved scholars Sheikh who stars Mufti Menk who stars Numan Ali Khan so let's say those are spiritual people right religious people let's look at philanthropists such as Oprah Winfrey I hope you know who that is if you don't already Google it she's easy to find let's also bring along a life coach she's now passed may the peace and blessings of God be with her may her soul rest in beautiful peace late Maya Angelo she was a life coach now look at the six people that I've mentioned they all have one thing in common and that is digital footprint all the people that I mentioned digital footprint what happens when in the last hour when we are buried judgment begins even though we believe that judgment begins from earth you reap what you sow but judgment the real judgment begins <laughs> when you can't come back and fix anything or change anything or redo anything when that judgment starts it starts right from the grave from the moment that the last person standing there at your funeral when that last person walks away that's when the angels wake you up and the query begins now we all know once we're gone the acts of kindness that you can personally physically mentally financially perform is gone no more but those can continue as some scholars say it continues when if you have built a school non-profit before you die the more people that go to that school and learn knowledge wisdom the more reward you get even in your grave if you have bought some Qurans or Bibles and put in the houses of God the more people pick up and read the more reward you get long after you are gone if you plant a tree or plant and listen to their words of wisdom their coachings the more reward they get long after they're gone now what does that all that have to do with you and i that is the purpose of this almighty god let the record of my life show that i bring your messages of peace your messages of love your messages of hope your messages of forgiveness your messages of better living let the record let the book of my life show that i've done that when the angels are throwing the dwellers of hell into hellfire and so many people that has merited that journey 
feeling now. And the angels will say, ah, ah, we've been throwing people in all this time. Is there any more space? Do you know what hellfire will say to them? When I read that in the Quran, it brought tears to my eyes. Hellfire will say, are there no more? Hellfire didn't say, no, there's no more space. Or yes, there is space. Hellfire will respond, are there no more? That means, keep it coming. The more the merrier, I have enough space. My brothers and sisters, that's not what Allah wants. That is so far from the intention of God. What God wants is for as much and as many of us to merit his paradise. Put it this way. If you are a parent, mother or father, and you want to buy or build a nice house for your family, would you build that house so that they don't live in that house? And you paint the house. And you have seven kids. And you have made seven bedrooms. And you make additional room for guests when they come over. So when you have made bedrooms and you put garden, you put a theater room in that house. Nice televisions, surround system, intercom system, garden around the house. And then when you finish building the house, you let your kids still live in a dump. Is that why you bought the house or built the house? No, you built the house so your family can dwell and live and enjoy that home. That is the same thing with God. He did not create paradise so that we don't get to go there. He created paradise so that you and I can go there. That is the purpose of Simplified. No hidden agenda. No personal intention. No string attached. And by the grace of Almighty God, I know I'm going to paradise. By the grace of God. I know. Because... We remember what we talked about during Ramadan countdown. We begin with the end in mind. That's how a smart person, intelligent person, begin a project. You begin with the end in mind. Meaning, when architects, for example, they want to build a nice shopping complex or palace or a mansion they don't just go and start digging they create a floor print of how they want to structure it what they want it to look like how many acres of land the palace will be sitting on and then they structure the design on a model first they have not even taken a digger to dig the ground not even one time and they're done already with the model that means they're beginning with the end in mind they know what they want it to look like so they walk toward that i know where i want to go i know and i'm saying it i'm going to paradise i'm going to aligena by the grace of almighty god and nothing no devil by the grace of almighty god derail my mission that is why I'm doing this for God simplified and I pray to Almighty God that this legacy that I'm leading that I have in, invited you to walk this journey with me on that judgment day when it's time for God to judge me and I will say to him I ministered your words. I preached your gospel. I talked about your glory. I spoke of your kindness. I spoke of your generosity. I spoke of your, your ability and ease of forgiveness. 
And that right there, by the grace of God, will earn me my ticket to Algena. But guess what? You and that will be my digital footprint. You have the same privilege. Because on that day, you will be able to say to Almighty God, simplified your messages. I was there. I listened. And I was a listener of your words. I was a doer of your words. And I was a distributor of your words. And there is no other emotion the Almighty God will feel for you and I other than gratitude, other than compliments, other than reward. And what is the reward? The reward is Aljana Fridaus. The reward is the promise of his paradise. Who doesn't want to go to paradise? If this is so easy, why wouldn't you want to go? This right here, simplified. In America, they have a word that they say, get out of jail free card. Meaning if you're about to get in trouble, use this card. You'll be fine. Your get out of jail free card on the judgment day is what you do with your simplified messages. When you hear these messages, when you see and listen to these messages, please don't let it rotten in your mail in your box. Share it. Distribute. Remember, begin with the end in mind. The the end that is in our mind is that promise. I want to see that place where Almighty God calls paradise. So I'm beginning with that end in my mind because I want to go there. Because I want to be a dweller of his paradise. Guess what? If you don't go to paradise, you are not, there's no in-between, no, my brother. There is no halfway, my sister. Is it a yay or nay? Is it a right or left? It's either paradise, or Jannah, or hellfire, Jannah. There is no, I will just stay in between right there. No. Wouldn't you want to see what God has been bragging about? And I tell you this if you read his words. God loves to brag because he has done a fine job. He has done a beautiful work just because of you and I. Imagine if the creator of heaven and earth is building you a house for free. No rent, no mortgage, no taxes. You don't even have to pay for your own grocery. It's just will, wish. Think about it and you got it. You think about it, if you can imagine it, you can get it. No more grocery bill, no more doctor's office bill, no more buying gas to, oh my. If you read the books of God and you see how God brags about paradise, it's worth walking towards. And what is your legacy are you preparing any legacy at all what do you want to be remembered for what do you want people to think about at the sound of your name at the mention of your name when you're no longer there when you can come back to change people's opinion of you people's perspective of you or people's understanding of you. You can come back, there is no more, there's no redo. What do you want them to remember? When I'm gone, I want people to remember 
simplified among all other good things. My digital footprint. That, my friend, Al Haji Yaya Solati, may his peace, may his soul rest in perfect peace. The internet is full of his digital footprint. The internet is full of Mufti Manks, Numan Ali Khans, Pastor Joel Austin's, Oprah Winfrey, even the late Maya Angelou, Pastor T.D. Jakes. The internet is plastered with their names, their words, their works for God. We all receive messages every day. It's what we do with them that matters. It's what kind of message are you sharing? Are you sharing messages that provoke anger? Are you sharing messages that put somebody else in a bad light? What message are you sharing? Because those messages will speak for you on the day of judgment. They will share good messages. Share simplified. That is the intention of this. And please, I want to urge you, like I said in the beginning, I'm scared. I'm afraid. I pray to Almighty God, please, when you hear this message, not only would you subscribe and engrave your name on the work of Simplified, put your name, seal your name in the book of Al Jannah. Seal your name in the book of paradise. Subscribe to this project of Allah so you can get it as it comes. And remember to share because you get as much reward as I will have gotten or I will be getting. We get equal reward, the speaker of the word and the distributor of the word. We get equal reward. Please subscribe, like, and share. And I want to beg you for this. Comment. Comment. Let me know what you are thinking when you are receiving this message. Let me know what you think. Please, that matters at this initial stage of the project. May Almighty God make it easy for all of us. Remember, the purpose of Simplified is not to convert anybody from their religion. The purpose of Simplified, as Almighty God said it, hell is full. Bring my people back to me in the most, in the simplest way. The words of God is very simple as people have been asking me why simplified what is simplified what does simplified mean simplified just as the name implies simple simplified the words of god simplified the words of good acts of kindness, simplified. Parenting, simplified. Managing a good household, raising good children, simplified. A lot of people work to bring this to you. And they did it as volunteers. May God Almighty in His infinite mercy reward them all beyond their wildest imaginations. And you, my viewers, you take a very, actually the biggest part in this project. 
May Almighty God reward you beyond your wildest imagination. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for bringing me into your home every week. Thank you very much for the commitment to live a better life and to share the words of God. Thank you for being the listener and the doers and the distributor of the words of God. I'm going to leave you with this. I love you. But no matter how much I love you, God loves you more. And I know that you love me. But no matter how much you love me, God loves me more. May the peace and blessings of God be with you now and forevermore. Salam alaikum.